Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zach King, and I'm going to be walking you through a really cool title effect called The Walking Dead Effect. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen the show. It's uh, about these guys trying to survive, and they're zombies, and it's just chaotic. And in the beginning of the show, they have this like 20 or 30 second really cool opening sequence. And I'm going to show you how they do some of these really cool shots. They look sweet, but they're really simple. Uh, you can create them here in Motion 5, After Effects, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to start from scratch here. I've given you all the project material. You can click the link in the description to download that. So here's the effect we're going to be creating. In your downloads folder, you've got a couple things. One, the Walking Dead footage. So drag that into your canvas. And then also you have two glass panes. I'm going to use the dirty glass window. You can choose whatever one you want. So now we're ready to go. Let's turn off the glass window and just take a look at our footage for a second here. If we play through, uh, there's actually two clips. One is this airplane flying from the side and then one from above. Both of these shots I thought were like pretty Walking Dead-ish, the type of angles they might have in the opening sequence. So let's just trim. I'm going to use the first one, and I only want it up to... But you can use the other one to practice later. First thing we need to do is go ahead and create some text. So I've got the text. And why don't I make myself the exec producer? Hit escape to get out of that. Let's size it up a little bit. But I'm not having it with this font, so let's go ahead and select it. If you don't have the font that I'm going to be using installed yet, I have that in the download as well. It's Adobe Fan Heti. I don't know how to say font names. I never get them right, so just pardon me on that. And then let's select the Zach King part or whatever name you're using and go to, let's use the Gothic so it's a little bit bolder. I type this in all caps, just FYI, and bring the size down. So something like this, even a little bit lower, yeah, 40, 48, 50, that should be good. If we play through right now, the text is just you know stuck right where we kept it, but I want to have it track to this mountain because that's what the Walking Dead titles do. They'll track to their backgrounds. So if we go to our library, we can come down to Behaviors, and you'll see we have a folder for motion tracking. And we have four options in here, and we're going to choose the first, Analyze Motion. So drag this onto your Walking Dead footage right there. And we have this little red track marker pop up. So you need to find something that stays in the frame that is pretty predominant. I'm going to click this because it's very contrasted against the white and the black. Put your frame in the beginning, or where you want to begin tracking, and hit analyze. It'll take a second. Now that that's tracked, we can go ahead and link the text to that because we really haven't done anything right now up to this point unless we drag this match move filter and put it on the title. And now in this match move you have a source well here that needs to be linked. So just drag your analyze motion into this well, drop it and you'll see it's there. I think you also had it here on a drop down of, of choices. Go ahead and hit play, and now you'll see your text is linked to that point that we tracked. Pretty cool. You can adjust it to put it wherever you want. It'll still be tracked. I'm going to keep it in the shadow here because it's a little bit easier to read. And you can keep it white. I noticed Walking Dead, they have it. Uh, a lot of their text on white, but they also change it to a dark brown, almost a blackish color, uh, charcoal later. So you can do that. I'm going to leave it white for now. We'll see how it turns out in the end. But next up, we want to turn on our dirty glass. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and put it on top. It creates its new group. We can delete that extra group there. Now, dirty glass window covering up everything right now. So let's change the blending mode. And by the way, if you don't have this heads-up display, it's right here. I should have pointed that out earlier. Your heads-up display, the HUD, is right here. So if you don't have that, you can also just go to the inspector, go to properties, and you've got your blending modes here as well. So if we switch down, we'll go to soft light. This is the one that I've used so far, and I, I really like how it looks. It doesn't change the color too much. If you hold down shift and you go to one of these edge properties, you'll see we can adjust or scale up the entire frame. I can also do that here just by going to scale but I like to grab these edges and just hold down shift and, and this will make it larger so this is kind of gives it the dirty lens effect 
And what we're going to do is bring our frame to the beginning. Let's move this over to the side. The reason I scaled it up is so I can adjust it like this and give it some handles. We're going to hit record, go to the end of our shot. And I'm just moving it over just slightly, not a ton. We don't want a huge drastic movement. We're not trying to make it obvious. And this is where, depending on your shot, you're going to want to play around with what direction you go. If we find it's moving too quickly, hold down Command-8, and that opens our keyframe editor. We can select it. We can hold down Shift and pull it further away. And let's watch that. Cool. It's subtle. I think it does the effect justice. And now what we need to do to really give it that edge blur, roughen up the edges, almost like you're looking in through a binocular, we're going to go to our filters in the library, come down to stylize, and we're going to find our filter called vignette. But before we drag it on anything, we could just drag it onto the footage, but I think it might be better served on everything. And to do that, we need to create a new group. And I'm going to call this, you know, all, everything, because we're going to hold down shift, select everything, and put it in this folder called all. So now if I shut this you'll see it's, it's all in there. Drag the vignette on top of this and now it's affecting everything in here. And the vignette gives us these controllers we can grab and select. We can pull it down. We can bring this in a little bit. You'll see it's getting darker on the edges because there's a blur. And the reason I put it on all is it so it's affecting the text. If I pull the text down here on the sides you're gonna see it's blurred out and affected. I wanted that to happen to everything. I'm going to hold down Shift Z, pops us back in, and we'll play through the effect. And that essentially is the Walking Dead effect, where they track text to a background. It's simple, you just analyze motion, throw in a vignette, throw on the dirty pane window. And to find this, all I did was Google you know, dirty glass window. Whatever you find, if it's got a solid background behind it, like a blue, you can essentially just soft light that here in the blending mode and it'll give you the leftover residue on the glass. So download the footage for free and all the uh, fonts and stuff if you want to follow along in the project files. Links in the description. Go to FinalCutKing.com. If you guys have certain effects you want to see, go ahead and comment below and maybe I'll pop out a couple tutorials for those. Take care guys. I'll see you in the next video.